Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Michael here, Shy City Yak, around on Lake Michigan. Um, here's what's going on today. A little bit of different. I plan to actually go offshore and uh, target Lakers, Browns, and Coho, but we've had an eastern wind blowing uh, in. It's caused a lot of rollers and a little bit of chop on the water. I did go out there, but I just can't go out far enough into that 30 to 40 foot water range where I would like to be, uh, where we've gotten reports of people having success. Uh, just because that water is a little churned up and I'm by myself, so I'm always going to err on the side of safety. That being said, I thought to myself, how can we make something out of nothing, right? We were given uh, lemons. Let's try and make some lemonades. And it actually all kind of worked out because today and what we have now with this water just about in that 50 degree mark is in the northern part of Illinois, uh, we have massive bait balls of alewife coming in. This harbor is completely covered with them. From the launch all the way out into the, the near shore, there are massive mega schools everywhere. Now you might be wondering, Michael, why would I ever want to bother with alewife? Well, one is on those days where you can't catch anything, with light tackle, they're kind of fun to catch. There's tons of them, so it's not that hard to, to catch them. You know, you can use a sabiki rig, you can use little ice jigs is what I prefer because they're also really small. And that's what I'm using right now, those little small snap jigs, a very small one. And, uh, and the other part of it too is that you, this is a good time for those of you that like to use meat rigs to catch some fresh bait here, you know, flay them up and, and, and put them on ice until you're ready to use them, especially in the summertime when you go offshore for big kings in those, in those meat rigs. You can use, you know, the, the, fi the fish that are right here in the waters um, and, and save yourself some money. So I mean, instead of having to buy the, the, the uh, herring that come in and get shipped in, they're kind of costly. Uh, this is a good time of year for those of you that want to do this to come out here and just knock them out, throw a bunch of them in there and, and do that. And so uh, today's video is going to be exactly that. I'm going to share with you and show you guys uh, us catching some alewife here. Uh, it's Again, I'm sitting over a massive school. It's completely littered throughout the uh, exit out into the main water here. And all I'm doing here, I'll tell you, the school starts at about 10 feet and it goes all the way down to 22 feet completely filled and all I'm gonna do is just kind of hover it keep it still for a second and give it a little pops occasionally and I can feel them pecking at it now the way their mouths are set up I, they gotta really kind of take it a certain way for for uh, me to be able to hook them so it's a little bit of a challenge in that regard and I didn't bring like my crappie uh, setup um, I didn't plan for this so I'm, I'm doing this on the fly luckily I had a couple smaller uh, snap jigs in my uh, my uh, jig box here for Lake Michigan. So I'm going to try my best to hook up with something here and uh, show you what this all looks like. The school is so thick when I'm jigging, I'm just hitting all of them. It's 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 insane. It really is one of those few times in the year when you see something like this. I mean, it really lets you know that the lake it's healthy. Uh, I mean. It's hard to argue that the lake isn't in a healthy place when you, when you see these mega schools of fish. Here we go. There we go. There it is. All right, just using a little it's a little natural color looking jig. It's a very small profile, but obviously it's a small fish. Uh, it will fit in his mouth here. And we take a look here. This is what's littered down. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. So this is what's littered down there, guys. And, and this is the forage of the salmon, right? Especially the kings, browns, lakers. This is what they're eating. There you go, all the bait. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it. For sure, nice to meet you. Okay, all right.
All right. Good luck, bro. Sorry, guys. Uh, shout out to Alex, who, or Alexander, who we just met over on the uh, pier here. Uh, guys, we're jigging for our wife. There we go. There we go. Uh, we got another one. Like I said, school. Uh, oh, jeez, they're flying all over the place. And these things have such a such a distinct smell when you when you grab them. It's, uh. There we go. There we go. You stuck that. All right. We're gonna take a picture of this little guy. He's probably gonna be uh, the thumbnail for for this video. Look at that. You know, this is this is one of those times where it salvages it salvages your trip out. You know, where uh, you you can do something so that even though you can't go out into the open water for, you know, salmon and trout, you can, you can catch something else. If the water was a little bit warmer, if I had the gear, I'd try and do some smally fishing off the docks. But uh, I wasn't prepared for that. I wasn't thinking about doing that. So here we are. And you know, we're making the best out of a situation and it's pretty cool because you get to learn something new. Uh, uh, something else you can add to your to your fishing arsenal. There we are, right on top of the school again. There we go. I like you, these guys can fight. Oh, he got he got foul hooked, but happens when you use these kinds of jigs. There we go. No, no. They are hard to deal with. They slip out of your hands so easily. There you go, guys. That's where we're catching. There we go. Guys, pull, man. They are pulling. Oh. oh, another far hook, but it's a bigger one, man. No, oh, about the same size. Oh God! All in here, man. All stacked up, and this is what the big salmon are eating out there. All right, guys, I think we picked on the uh, owl wife enough for today. Just really want to show you that you can do this yourself. If I wanted to use these for meat rigs, I would have kept all of them and uh, flayed them up and, and, and uh, got them all ready and done that when the time comes uh, around the summer times when they're mostly used. But uh, I, I don't really do meat rigs. But for anybody that's looking to, and you want your own bait fresh from the lake, you can do it, save yourself some money, instead of having to buy you know, the herring strips and all that stuff, which can add up really, really quickly. Uh, now's a great time to be able to do this. You know, you get this water temps into 48, 50 degrees. We're in the northern section of Lake Michigan and Waukegan area. So uh, right around these temperature ranges is when a lot of the bait starts coming around, um, and it's, Incredible to see uh, when this happens here 
Um, and uh, yeah, man, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to throw a like up, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. Also, if you want any and all of the gear, items, accessories, clothing that I have that I'm using to catch fish here on Lake Michigan, make sure you check out my Amazon store link down in the description below. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, throw it a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, if you're looking for all the gear, tackle, items, accessories, and clothing that I'm using to go kayak fishing on Lake Michigan for big salmon and trout, then consider stopping by my Amazon storefront and checking out all the items that I am using on every trip out to put big fish into the kayak. And the best part of all of this is that if you pick up any of these items, it supports me as a content creator at no additional cost to you. So check out that link in the description below and thank you for your support.